Hey everybody, it's me, ESPN, and welcome to a new project I'm doing called Super Paper Mario. <laughs> it's already going downhill. Anyways, yeah, new project, hopefully all goes well. Hope my camera doesn't fall like it's been doing. I didn't mean to click two there. But you know what? Whatever. Who cares about the the backstory? It's all about the new game. I will name this new safe story. Anyway, so let's get started. Already booming. Okay. Ooh, Mario's house, we're gonna see Mario. You! What are you doing there? You, you get out of here. Wow, sure it's peaceful today, eh, bro? If you look in the background, you can see those portraits back there. Those are the um, original party members from the first two games. I feel lucky like having a piece with it. You shut up. Yep, real peaceful. It's so peaceful, it's almost a little bit. Wild. Shut up, dude. No one cares. Makes you just want a curve bluey, you know? Some kind of shocking fit. Oh, the Princess Peach's place, maybe? That'd be cool, huh, bro? Maybe we should go visit Mushroom Castle. It has been, been a while. I'm sure the Princess would be happy to see us. Yeah, sure, I'm sure it has been a while. I've been out with the thousand year door. <laughs> Mario, help! It's a toad. Why are. What, what happened? Why are you so crazy? It's shocking. Mushroom has already been What? Why, that's ridiculous. Who in the world would do such a thing? Wait a sec. Yeah, I think I've gotten the, the, oh, This must be the work of that guy. That bad guy. Very generic. It's, it's very vague. I want that for this. I have to sneak into his castle and rescue Princess Peach. Let's go! Counting on you, Mario. I will never do that voice again. Of course, I really won't have to, but you know. Sorry for background noise. Anyway, so this must be the castle of that bad guy. <laughs> this is well, my ultimate task force. It's time to initiate my awesome plot to invade Mushroom Castle. Today is the day that my beloved Princess Peach, all mine. Oh wait, today is the day I make my beloved Princess Peach all mine. And if that weren't awesome enough, I'll also stop her little mustache buddies and stop with this weird voice. Yeah! Run attack! It's actually really good days. Buster, Buster, yeah, the wood is running out of time. Buster, the wood is settling, the wood is settling. Wah ha ha ha, hold on your time. You jokers are the best. Hey, who are those hair guys in the back? We shave around here in minutes. I don't want to know what, Bowser, what hair Bowser's shaving that's obviously not on his head. Blarg Mario and Luigi. How'd you get in here? What? My front gate was open? How many times have I told those idiots to run the last in? Lock the game! Why, oh, you big Bowser. We know you get that pretty much. Now, where'd you put them? Where'd I- wait. What? We were only about to launch our attack. Mario, help! <laughs> Princess Peach? Whoa, what's going on here, man? <laughs> Your princess has been taken back out black. 
You wait, Bunny. Bunny got back. The chosen executor of the dark prognosticus is got back. The fine fellow prophesied to come to this dimension is also got back. I'll tell you, it doesn't make it even a little bit of sense. Tell Black. Enough, release Princess Peach right now. I'm on a schedule over here. Gablex is now. The princess is integral to fulfilling the prophecies. What prophecies? The prophecy where I kick your butt? Ha 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 ha. That was funny. She'll be brought to Castle Black and used to destroy all worlds by Gablex. Destroy all worlds? Whoa! I was like, dang, I wish I could do that. Hey, bro! This man deserves a bit of cute. We really cannot face Cop Black. Yeah! He's freaking awesome! Yeah. Hey, here's the thought. You come down and free the princess or else. Oh, dude, you're getting told by Bowser. You're getting told by Bowser! Oh, crap's about to happen! Yeah! Yeah! Okay, I'm sorry. Blech! The princess shall not be with them. Back on black. In fact, Bowser, evil king of Koopas, come black with me. We'll take you too. I should give him like, some sort of like, Dracula voice. If you look under his cape, it's got the pentagram from the Thousand Year Door. So that's pretty cool. Blech! <laughs> Complex preparations are now in order. All of you make this for the dimensional fort to appear. That's what they'll be prophesied. Mario, Oh, it's a butterfly. It's a fairy. Such a beautiful fairy. Are you awake? Ooh, yeah. My name is Tippy. I am what is a, known as a pixel. It's sort of fairy. Oh, so it is a fairy. Mario, I came to find you. Looks really high tech. I am the enemy. You met Gumbach and he captured a princess and an evil king. Is this not so? Then that means sounds like he's even now to begin beginning to form the world. We haven't much time. You must come with me. Yes, if your friends are to be saved, you must come. Whoa! Let us go. Surf, wow, must see. Starting here. No, that amazing. Sorry for background noises if there is any. Oh ho, well, well, to be back so soon. And who might this be? Betcha, blue overalls, blue overalls and a magnificent stash. Tippy, you truly have done yourself. Matches the description of the hero of the light pro prognosticus perfectly. You match the description perfectly. So you got me with me. Hey, I told you I'm not a squirrel. Now get your hands off me. Okay, I'm sorry if anyone knows what game that's, the game that's from. That, it's awesome. And his name is Mario. Me? No, the other Mario. I welcome you, Mario. This is the town of Flipside. You have come far from the Martian Kingdom of your dimension. Of course, our fair Flipside is no dimension at all. No, it is between dimensions. My name, Merlin. My name, Merlin. I am a descendant of the ancients who created this land. We all know who you are, Merlin. You've, you've been in every Paper Mario game since. Uh, before. What? I busy myself selling musty ancient texts to forestall the end of all worlds. 
think the only Paper Mario game he hasn't been in is Sticker Star. Oh, do you want to know about the end of all worlds? What's happening, you ask? So, Tippy has not told you yet, I gather. Well then, Mario, the answer hangs above you. Do you see that gallant darkness in the sky? It is a hole, the very dimensional fabric of space. Such a strange phenomenon. Is it near or far? None? No. It may be a small now, but it will only grow. In the end, it will swallow all existence, all worlds, and all dimensions. This hole was created by our enemy, Dabla, who is real Dr. Dostikus. A fair and lovely princess, a furious monster king. The union of these two will call forth the Chaos Heart, the consumer of worlds. And the Chaos Heart will ravage the sky, and so break forth the void. No one cares. Yeah, so the passage should be just quoted is from the light prognosis of my ancestors. The book also says this void will swallow all. Dude, was his ancestors from like the ancient Mayan kingdom or something? Dude. Not can stop it, unless the one protected by the dark power is destroyed. The hero with the power of the eight pure hearts will rise to the task, so it is written. Pure hearts. Mustache love! This is one of the eight pure hearts. You are surely the hero spoken of, of in the pages of the Light Prognosticus. You are the only one who can defeat Kamrak and save all worlds. Mark, take this and save all worlds from destruction? No! What? How could you refuse? If you don't accept this, all worlds will end. You must. No! After all, I told you, you still refuse? You are very last soap. <laughs> oh, very last hope. <laughs> this is the final time I'll ask you. Please save the world. I would say still no, but you know what? I don't want to because then I get a game over and then I'd have to redo all that, all that story. So yeah, they actually go as far as to have the game end right there. Excellent. You truly are the hero of the Book of Legend. My eyes never deceive. So, <laughs> Mario, our brave hero, take this! Mustache love! <laughs> our very last soap. <laughs> Mario was soap. <laughs> no, <laughs> pure heart was thrust into our possession. No, it wasn't given us, it was thrust into our possession. Not great, Hero Mario. Your first task awaits. You must take this pure heart. You must place it in the heart pillar in this town. Tippy will lead you there. Return to me when you are through this task. Okay, this way. In the appears press the red direction on the directional pad to examine things or talk to people. Okay. So Instead of following the great hippie, we just jump over down here. Let me guess. The heart pillar is this way. Come on, please. A very big shortcut. And what a beautiful lamp. Holy crap. It's so beautiful. Just, wow. Oh, yeah. This is one of the, this is no ordinary lamp. This is one of the highest of high class lamps. Encrusted with only the finest of obsidian, it shines with the force of a collapsing dwarf star. Those sparkles coming off it symbolize that you're better than other people for having this lamp. Wake up in the morning knowing your lamp is better than theirs. Sure, it cost your life's fortune. Your wife had to tell you to stop buying overpriced lamps, but who cares? You didn't need them! Family is overrated when you have lamps! Look at me now! Why is the better lamp now, huh? Yeah! <clears throat> yeah, lamp. Anyway. Oh, this is the hard pillar. Now keep close to the place to be hard. I'm out of here, haha. See you later, losers. Okay, fine. Dude. Dude! 
That kid was like a ninja. He was hiding behind this bush, waiting to just pop out and kill me. Maybe if it wasn't pure hearts and it wasn't a story about love, I'd probably like this game a bit more. Okay, now let's return to my one. Dude, no, that no, that takes forever. Okay. You know what? I'm just gonna stare at this lamp a little bit more real quick. Okay then. Perhaps you should strike this block before we head back to Merlin. And save! Hit this block to save all your progress. That way, if your game ends, you can start from the last save point. Okay. Sure. And, yeah. The two of you return. Look, the, the door has appeared. The, this dimensional door was made to lead the hero to the another pure heart. Oh my god, it's like the crystal star map! Yes, somewhere beyond this door lies one of the seven of the other pure hearts. Tippy, you must use your power to help Martin find this pure heart and return here. Of course. And Martin, I have something to give you that will aid you on your journey. Must have? Mustache? Mustache? Candy can't pull me. Return right. With this, you will be able to return to flip side from anywhere in this universe. Oh, that star heart, heart on his neck. Star, star heart? Star point. Dude, you suck at talking today. You should whenever you feel. You must return in a hurry. To use your return part, just go to important things on the menu screen. Just remember that in some areas, the signal from Flip Flight might not be reached. The light prognosticus foretells the hero that the hero will meet a dimensional dimension governor. And from him, the hero will learn the dimensional technique. He's also certain this refers to I'm almost certain this refers to my friend. The Flip Wizard, Pistolis. So now, go through the store and seek out Pistolis. Well, let's get going. In the next episode. Yep. I'm gonna keep this good. See you guys. Wow, that's actually pretty story filled. But anyway, yeah, see you guys in the next episode.